Guys, how everyone ran, how everyone screamed, everyone was crying with little kids. Oh, what a nightmare, magnitude of almost 7 again. Turkey faced one of the major natural disasters in its history on February 6, 2023. When powerful tremors made hundreds of thousands of residents in the country lose the ground under their feet. But just two weeks later, a new earthquake struck the previously affected province of Hatay. On February 20th, several aftershocks followed one after another. The magnitude of the first one was 6.4, and of the second was 5.8. Hundreds of people were injured, and more than seven lost their lives. More infrastructure damage and power outages were reported. Several buildings that were damaged but remained after the powerful earthquake of February 6 couldn't withstand the impact of the natural disaster this time and collapsed. The tremors caused panic among the locals. Residents ran out into the streets, trying to get away from their houses or to get out of town. Guys, how everyone ran, how everyone screamed, everyone was crying, with little kids. Oh, what a nightmare, magnitude of almost seven again. In general, it's a horror, of course. It's not life, it's just a horror of some kind. You see where people are sleeping again? Here on the roads, all the people, all the cars, here on the roads. Everybody's leaving in various directions. People are panicking again. It was shaking really bad, guys. Really bad. It's just awful. I can't believe this is happening. I feel like I'm just watching a movie. It's just horrible. Like a horror movie, honestly. It's a scary situation altogether. Again, we've been through it all. This horror. There was a very strong earthquake. Oh, the house was wobbling back and forth. That's scary. And then what? What's next for us? God knows when it will stop and if it stops at all. At Hatay Airport, people fell to the floor when they felt the shaking. Tremors were also felt in Syria, Lebanon, Israel, Jordan, Cyprus, and Egypt. As of February 21, it is known that as a result of the devastating earthquake of magnitude 7.8, which happened two weeks ago, there were more than 47,000 casualties, and more than 120,000 people were injured. Dear viewers, we want to tell you important news. The volunteers of the Creative Society Project have prepared a map of climate disasters, which is updated on a daily basis according to the monitoring around the world. For monitoring we use information from publicly available sources, state weather bureaus, climate services in countries, mass media, digital platforms for monitoring weather and climate data, social media, etc. It is a unique map, which has no parallels as different data are collected in a single map, although usually they are not integrated. Thus, each person will be able to monitor what is happening with the climate and see a complete picture of what is happening. It is now very important to convey the truth about climate to all of humanity. It is also important because the topic of climate is not widely discussed in the media and people don't really know what is going on. But the lack of information leads to inaction, which already today causes mass deaths from cataclysms.